Hi, welcome to a short presentation on the practical usage of Microsoft Power Query. In this video, I'd like to show you how you can dynamically filter data to another worksheet. For other solutions, you may visit my website ashishmathur.com. So here's what the data actually looks like. I have a base data sheet with columns going all the way from A till uh, BG. And um, so this is year-wise, country-wise, uh, macroeconomic data from school enrollment to cap gross capital formation and so on. So every uh, country has data right from 1984 all the way up till 2009. So that's 26 rows occupied for each country. So that's for Albania. Then starts Algeria below, once again from 1984 all the way to 2009 and so on. So this is a data set of about 2,185 rows. Now, I'd like to do some analysis on this data and I'm interested in only um, viewing data or rather transferring data to another worksheet, which is for years beyond 1990, including the year 1990. So uh, I'd like to work only on that data set one way would actually be to select the entire data set, apply a filter down the year column, um, and simply say number of filters greater than 1990 over here. Now I can do so and copy this data onto some other worksheet, but the problem with filtering is that it's a static process. If I were to change any numbers over here, or if I were to add further years of data to each of these countries, I'll have to, I'll have to keep refiltering. So I'd like to have another worksheet in the same workbook which actually um, shows the dynamically filtered data set of all the years beyond 1990, such that if I change any data in this uh, sheet over here, or if I add further years of data, then I should be able to simply refresh the filtered data set on the other worksheet. Now, the way to, act to actually accomplish this is to use Power Query. So I select the entire data set over here, and um, I go to Power Query. So Excel data from table, once the data comes over here, I simply go down the year filter drop down and see number filters here greater than 1990. I click on OK. And once I get this data, or I'm sorry, I should actually say greater than or equal to that. So greater than or equal to 1990. Once the data is filtered in the Power Query window, all I now need to do is uh, go to Close and Load. And um, okay, I want a table and I want to transfer data to a new worksheet. I simply go there, click on Load. Another worksheet will open up in the same workbook, which will actually um, be a dynamically filtered data set. And as much as if anything changes on my base data sheet, I can right click here and refresh. So I hope you enjoyed watching this short video. Thank you.